Well, I haven't met a dog yet that doesn't love treats, but they aren't always healthy for your pup and they can certainly get expensive. So why not make your own? 9 and 10's Kaylin Franks and photojournalist Jacob Johnson follow a popular recipe for tonight's projects you pin. Hello, my friends. It's me, Kaylin, and this is Maple, my dog. She loves peanut butter. And a lot of you have been writing to us trying to try those homemade dog treats, the ones you can make at home in the oven. They're super easy, they're affordable, and the cool part is there's no weird chemicals. The ingredients are pretty simple. So this week, we are trying a peanut butter treat because since I'm making them for this one, peanut butter is her favorite snack. Let's go in the kitchen and start working, huh? Your ingredients for your dog treats are pretty basic. Whole wheat flour, peanut butter, baking powder, and skim milk. You want to keep it simple for your furry friend. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees, and in a mixing bowl, put together one cup of organic peanut butter and skim milk. The pin we're following today recommends organic peanut butter for your dogs because it has no sugar or anything added. In another bowl, mix together your dry ingredients. And then it's pretty simple. Mix together the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients, combining with your mixer. Peanut butter is sticky and amazing gooey stuff. So this comes together as a tough dough pretty quickly. So far, it looks like Pup is going to enjoy this. Next up, spread some flour down on a surface and roll out your dough, using a cookie cutter to cut out shapes for your treats. I tried to find a dog bone cookie cutter everywhere, but I'm settling with a heart. Grease a baking sheet lightly and crowd everything on here. These are not going to rise or spread much, so there's no need to really worry much about your spacing. Simply just pop them in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes, let them cool, and you're done. In the end, this project was super fun and easy, and as it appears, pretty delicious for our pups. One thing I loved about this is how few ingredients there were and how really it only took a few minutes to throw together. Join me next week for another edition of Projects You Pin. You never know, it just may be a project you want us to try.